Good morning everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my basement. For this week's video I'm going to take care of a project that I've been wanting to do for some time now but I've just been too busy. Many of my viewers have been asking when I'm going to start working on my own railroad again. Well I'd like to be able to say that that starts today and in some ways you could say that it qualifies. But what I really want to do is just get out one of the crated up sections and set it up so I have a backdrop for filming videos like this. As you can see behind me, all we have is crates and boxes. And I'd like to have something a little bit better for my backdrop. Now the section that I'm going to set up is the one behind the belt sander. Standing up in the corner with the strip lamps on top of it. And I'm going to put it up against this wall where the display cabinets are now stacked up. So first thing I've got to do is find somewhere to put those. Let me just get them temporarily out of the way and then I can start work. So far so good. Everything's out of the way. The bookcase is going to stay there because I can span over the top of it. The next thing to do is to unbury the section I'm going to unbox. Well the basic structure is now in place it's not finished yet. Let me show you what the issue is. Here is the railroad section. You see we've got this drop beam which goes about four inches below the framing. So I've got to put some legs on top of these two arms. And of course it's a long time since I did any wood shopping and I'm having to make up something that will work with the offcuts I have. I've cut up practically every offcut I had in my workshop, but I didn't feel like going shopping today. So I'm just making do with what I have. Well, here's what I've cobbled together with virtually no wood. I've used up every last inch of two by four that I had in my workshop and the two largest offcuts of plywood as well. But it'll work because the drop beam under the railroad section will fit in here, hard up against that. About, there'll be about a two inch gap at the back so that I'm not pushing the scenery hard up against the wall and then the four corners, two at this end and two on the other end provide flanges that I can screw up underneath to attach it firmly so although I have virtually no wood available it will work next thing to do is to unpack the crate well here is the section of railroad that used to be in front of the window it's the one with the forest and the two rivers on it I've set it on four boxes, two at the front, two at the back, so that everything is off the ground, which will enable me to get the end panels off more easily. I've already taken out all the screws that were underneath it, so the wood that's underneath can be slid out when everything else is undone. So, the moment of truth. Time to reveal what has been hidden away for over a year. Don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to it. for this week. Just kidding. Let's continue. Well, I had forgotten how much 
wood I used in the crate. I guess some of it might have been helpful on the new supports, if only I thought about it in time. It looks as though it's in fairly good condition still. I was concerned. I have heard horror stories of railroads getting destroyed in transit. There's a tree that's come down here across the tracks. That's no biggie. And I think moisture must have got in under the Envirotex down here because it's discolored, it's gone cloudy. That happened once before, but it cleared itself. Hopefully it'll clear itself again. If not, I'm gonna to have to strip away the water and start again. But otherwise, it looks just as good as it was the day I packed it. I'm gonna to need to go upstairs and get some help because it's too heavy and awkward for me to lift onto the legs by myself. So let me go get my stepson and I will be right back. Well, that completes this week's project. Hope you've enjoyed getting a first look at one of my old layout sections. I know I have. And now I also have a decent backdrop for future videos. We did manage to bash the tops of some of the trees on a soffit up there, but no problem, didn't do any major damage. So I'm just gonna sign off here. That's all for this week. Hope you've enjoyed watching, and I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.